Alright, what's up, Jamal? Dad! What's up, man? Mm -hmm. How are you? Hey. Bye, Daddy! Hi, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, I know. Where's your mother? Oh, no. She's in time. Okay. Right. Welcome, sir. Thank you. How are you? Fine, sir. Let me check out, okay? Thank you, Dad. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's your girl Diane again and guys you know I always come up with good things to talk about <laughs> okay so today I'm going to be talking about marriages guys before you get married make sure you pray to God to give you the best man just like mine and ah, he has blessed me a... <laughs> talk about the angel and he's here so guys I am blessed with the best husband and a wonderful kid god has blessed me i pray god blesses you with a good husband because you know what he has blessed me with a good man not all men are perfect nobody's perfect i am not perfect but i married my best friend i married my brother i married my father and baby please come <laughs> Meet my man, my best friend, my father, <laughs> my everything. Say hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? This man right here is the best. Trust me. Come here. You see that? <laughs> So, they say something. Um, hey, she's my wife. Yes. And? And uh, I love her so much. And I love you more. <laughs> so, guys, I married my best friend. So, you see how happy I am? How happy we are. We are one happy family. Yes. <laughs> I love you, baby. Did Madame tell you where she was going? No, sir. Where's Jamal? He's upstairs. Is he sleeping yet? Yes, sir. He is. Please, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to have sex with my wife. Oh, no, babe, please. Are we going through this over and over again? You know I can't do this after the day's stress. Please, I just want to sleep. Why does having sex with my wife become a crime? Huh? I don't know what you're trying to say. But you and I know that I am not a sex freak. So please, just let me be. Here we go again with I'm not a sex freak, baby. It's, it's just... Stop! Uh. 
You know I will not take time. Eh? Just give me two minutes. Pa, I'm done. I just said I am tired. Okay, let me just put a tip. I'll brush it. No tip anything. I am tired. It's just ah. a tippy toe. <sighs> huh? Baby. Oh, God. Huh? Let me tiptoe. Stop, please. Let me care of your gardens. Stop. I called you here so we can talk. Can you put your phone away? You can talk, I'm listening. Can you just drop your phone for a few minutes? Hey, what is going on? Huh? I don't understand. What is going on with you? You don't, you don't care anymore? You don't show affection. You don't make me touch you. The fire that we had between us is, is dying. Can't you see? I'm still trying to understand what you're talking about. When was the last time you made me touch you? When was the last time you paid attention to little details about this house? I never told you I wasn't paying attention to details in this house. Okay, why don't you make me touch you that's because i'm always tired always tired yes tired from what from work work yes are you serious you know how stressful my work is and you never mentioned it you never talked about it <sighs> always making me assume that you, you you don't you don't feel that 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 that, that connection anymore with me look I don't like what is going on between the two of us. Okay? That fire between us is gradually drifting us apart. It's fine. I'll do something about it. You had to go back on your phone? Babe, we're still talking. I was busy doing something before you cut me short. You were busy? Yes. Going live with your fans, so-called fans. You know I have to update my fans at all times. So guys, yes, I am back again. So where are we? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Are you kidding me? Hi. This is just walk out of me. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Is my friend in? Yes, uh, she's inside. Thank you. You're welcome. But babe, seriously, I really do not want to lose this. So for some time, I've not been giving it to him. Wait, then, uh, are you saying you've been denying your husband sex? Um, something like that. Look, babe, I really do not have time for all that. I don't have time for it. Okay, you don't have time for it. That's fine. But babe, do not push your husband into another woman's arms. Don't say I didn't tell you. 
my husband is a one woman man oh. so nothing like that is happening and like i said i am putting on weight and my fans are tagging me fat already oh. come on it's a no-no for me okay agbani there we go mm, that is what i want <laughs> keep your feet and i've heard you i've you so get up going and get me something soft I think you know your way to the kitchen, right? Mm -mm. Don't do this right now. You didn't Just... come to this house with a maid. <laughs> so find your way to the kitchen and help yourself. <sighs> okay, that's why you give me gist. Mm -hmm. mm. As usual. You, yes, I eat so you. you know, you know what I do not like? What? You hand me like this, I don't like hands. Of course, I can't So like drop you, it. Though. I can't be like you. But the gist is... This is cool. Hey! <laughs> What is it? What is what? What do you want? I want my husband. Stop, stop it. I'm not in the mood, okay? Don't tell me to stop. I just want to sleep. <sighs> Come on, baby. Can you stop?
Something is wrong somewhere. Yes, I'm so sure. Something like what? Someone is taking my husband's attention from me. My instincts tells me that. You guys are an idiot. Is anything bothering you? There's nothing bothering me. I'm fine. No, because you're not fine. I know you're not fine. A lot has changed and I'm worried. Where is this coming from? I'm telling you that I'm good. Are you okay? Okay, good. I'm fine, right? <laughs> oh, this guy, you're chasing. Oh, Are you sleeping with my husband? Excuse you. Are you the reason for my husband's change of attitude? Tell me, Stephanie. Come on, girlfriend. Why would you want to lay a huge accusation on your best friend? And why would I want to sleep with your husband? Just come off it. Oh, welcome, Auntie. How are you, my boy? I'm fine. Hmm. Fine. Auntie so, Giving Care, how are you doing? And also, how is your mommy and your daddy? They are fine. They extended their greetings. Ah, uh, thank you. Where's your mom? She'll be inside her room now. Okay, come. Come on, just me. <laughs> hmm? Okay, what have you been up to? Oh, nothing. Just sleeping, going to school, eating, mm, eating, eating. eating. <laughs> you like food? Yeah. <laughs> so you didn't miss me? Hmm? No, I missed you a lot. You missed me. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, next time when I'm going, I'll carry you. Yeah, so yeah. you have to tell your mommy and your daddy you. Okay, I will. Mm -hmm. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie, I came back to tell you that I will be stopping work. I won't be working here again because I finally secured my admission in the university. Auntie, 
You know how P.I. finally secured my admission? Um, no. Of course I am happy. But not at this time. You know, I already took you in as my sister. Even if you want to leave. Not this time. Not this time. Auntie, there is sorrow in your voice. What is it this time? Auntie. Stephanie is sleeping with my husband. Stephanie. Who is Stephanie? The same Stephanie you know. The one I call my best friend. She's the reason behind my husband's change of attitude. is a beautiful thing when it's cherished it strives more with every peace of mind when two come together as one loving and trusting each other right oh yeah cherish what you have Love what you have, treat what you have right. Cause you never know who's up next. Cherish what you have, love what you have, treat what you have right. Cause you never know who's up next. Oh, treat love right. Hello, baby. Yes, I'm already on my way. <laughs> what do you have for me? Ooh, okay, okay. I'll see you soon, yeah? I'm coming. All right, bye. so long um there was a little bit of traffic but i'm here now so tell me how was your day today mm, it was a little bit stressful so sorry it's okay come i want to show you something mm, you want to show me something there <laughs> do you want to show me I guess you know already. <laughs> <laughs> you ready now? Thank you. You're welcome. 
There you go. This looks good. Mm -hmm. Wow. It smells good too, though. Can I say that again? <laughs> What? <laughs> Do you find peace with me? Sure I do. <laughs> Can I eat now? Yeah, sure. Can you stop? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Eat. Mm. Tastes good. Orgasm. Orgasm, jeez! <laughs> Why would you say that? Good orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> sorry. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> sorry. Good? Yeah, thank you. Mm. Is that not coming again tonight? Like, I'm very, very sleepy. Um, come here, Papa. Don't worry, your daddy will be home soon, okay? Hmm? Diane, are you okay? What manner of friend snatches her best friend, husband, and pretend like she did nothing? What wrong have I done to you? What wrong have I done to you that made you kidnap my husband for months now? <laughs> Look, your friend, you are accusing the wrong person here. Do we keep being sneaky about this? How much do you love me? You know I love you so much. Yet you're still with another. You once said to me that you are a one woman man. When you love you love for one. If truly you love me, then what are you waiting for bringing me in as your wife? I am carrying your child. 
I should be your priority. Not someone who has a child for another and put it on your head that you're the father of a child. What are you talking about? You are a good man. And you deserve the best from a good woman. You still have not answered my question. What child do you speak of? Jamal is not your biological child. I... I bump into a conversation with your wife and her lover. When she asked me to search for something in her phone, I am sure that's the reason she denied you sex. Because they are still saying each other.
who is Jamal's father? Who? Tell me who Jamal's father is. What are you talking about? Of course he's your son. I ask for the last time. Who is Jamal's father? Who Jamal's father is? Why don't you let me take you to our room? Not yet. Not yet? Mm-hmm. Mm. sit around? Please, let us sink in. Mm. This is your home. My home. You are the queen <laughs> of this humble abode. <laughs> oh my god, you're yeah, so really. cute. What is going on here? How are you doing, Diane? I asked. What is going on here? I thought I told you to get your things out of my house before I get back. Why haven't you done that? I'm talking to you. Are you deaf? Oh. So you have gone deaf all of a sudden. Okay, in that case, let me do the needful. Ginika here. This is my wife-to-be. Your wife? I'm so sorry, baby. It was a slip of tongue. You see this lady right here? She gives me peace. And like they say, every man dwells where he finds peace. In that pregnancy, she is carrying my real unborn child. So from today, you cease to be my wife. So you can go wherever you want with this Boy, you call my son, you brought into this house in pretense to would shut up. I am not your father. From today, you address her as Mrs. Tony. Do you hear me? Wifey? Hey, baby. Meet Diane, my ex-wife. Hi. Kinika, Mrs. Tony, you heard him right? Mrs. Tony, I just told you that. So it was you all along. The me that does it better. Ooh. Yes. Maybe. Yeah? To room. Oh yes, to our room, my love. Let me help you. This way. <laughs> Don't you dare walk out of here! <laughs> Stop this! Oh, calm down! Stop this! What's wrong? Don't tell me! This is coming my girl! Can you just respect yourself? What are you How could you do this to me, Ginika? Are you okay? <laughs> mind yourself, okay? Just mind yourself. <laughs> just move, move out of here. Let me get your back, hmm? Just go in, help out. Your watch. 
I'll try this next time. You stupid. Love is a beautiful thing when it's cherished. It strives more with every peace of mind. When two come together as one, loving and trusting each other, right? Oh, yeah. Cherish what you have. Love what you have, treat what you have right. Cause you never know who's up next. Cherish what you have, love what you have, treat what you What have you done, T? That was not the plan. The idea was that I do everything possible to make your wife jealous so that she can value what she has. And then we go ahead to let her know about our plans. What then changed? What is it you see in your mate that you don't see in your wife, T? Peace of mind is what I have found with her. To live long, a man dwells in a place where he finds peace. A place where he loves and is loved at the same time. Do you understand? No, I don't. You, you don't get my drift. That is because you are not a man. Yes. Hey, babe. Hey. My beautiful baby. Mm. Okay. Baby, fine? Mm, just to touch it. Okay, let me just rub it for you. Oh. Hey, little boy. <laughs> oh. This is your daddy talking to you. <laughs> you better behave in there because I'm the landlord, you're the tenant, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. oh. Listen, let's just leave. At least for now, give him space. Go to where? My house, of course. Do you know what you're saying, Stephanie? You want me to leave my house for my maid? My maid is pregnant for my husband, Stephanie. And you stand there to ask me to leave my house for her. God. I really, I really cannot believe this is happening. No, this can't be happening, Stephanie. What do you want people to say? What do you want to see in the pages of newspaper? Tell me that a once happy home is now broken by a maid. A happy home, you say? Huh? Listen, Stephanie, over my dead body will I sit here and watch my mate take over my home. I will not let that happen. 
My son and I will stay here till midnight, till any time my husband is ready to come out. I do not care, but you see me, I will not leave my house for my maid. Never! Love is a beautiful thing when it's cherished It strives more with every peace of mind When two come together as one Loving and trusting each other right Oh yeah Cherish what you have Love what you have, treat what you have right Cause you never know who's up next Cherish what you have, love what you have, treat what you have right Cause you never know who's up next Ooh. Treat love right, show love attention Give love a listen, yeah, always. Treat love right. Show love attention. Give love a listen, yeah. Love is a beautiful thing when it's cherished It strives more with every peace of mind When two come together as one Loving and trusting each other right Oh yeah Cherish what you have Love what you have, treat what you have right Cause you never know who's up next Cherish what you have, love what you have, treat what you have right Cause you never know who's up next Ooh. Treat love right, show love attention Love a listen here always. Treat love right. Show love attention. Give love a listen here always. Home is a paradise when it's solidly built. It grows small. Where there is love and care When to come together Loving each other right Holding each other right Listening to each other Oh, yeah Cherish what you have Love what you have Treat what you have right Cause you might never know What's up next Cherish what you have, love what you have, treat what you have right. Cause you never know what's up next. Oh, treat love right, show love attention, give love a listen, yeah, always. Treat love right. Show love attention, give love a listening ear, always. Treat love right, show love attention, give love a listening ear, always. Treat love right, show love attention.
invitation Give love a listening ear Always Still awake. Huh? You know, the first step to solving a problem is identifying the problem. I'm not trying to take sides here, but you need to understand that you brought this upon yourself and it has taken you unawares. Yes, I mean, Tony did everything possible to make sure he doesn't lose his lovely wife. He even went as far as using me to see if he can get you jealous so that you can give him the attention he needed as a man. But unfortunately, things turned out this way. And from the least expected angle. But like I said, first thing first, that is identifying the problem. And you knowing that you contributed to this, then we'll know the next step to take. How did you get in here? I am not here for war. I am rather here to ask you one question. And maybe if I get the right answer, I'll rest. My soul will be at peace. What wrong have I done to you, Ginika? The one person I call my own sister that chose to break my home. What have I done to you? What did you do to my husband that made him choose you over me? Peace. Tenderness at home. And then, sexual healing. That which you could not offer. You see, your ex-husband is a good man. And he never deserved the way you treated him. He's a kind of man every woman would want to be with. I didn't go for him, whether he did. What he has been looking for all these years, he found in me. After all, you never valued what you had. I don't see why I wouldn't grab an opportunity when I see one. It might not come again. You know that, right? So yeah, overtaking is allowed.
Dracula. <laughs> Are you, this is what you say you wanted. Why did you want this? Man? Now, no, 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 no,
and what is it? Diane? First, I walked into my office to realize that he has closed down everything. On my way back, people were asking what transpired between my husband and I that led to our breakup. This I don't understand. How did our breakup get into the ears of people? This is one thing I have never, ever in my life wanted. Why would he close down my office? my only source of income. Okay, I would answer to that. He closed down your office because he opened it in his name. Lesson number one. And why would the public not get to hear about your breakup with your husband when your entire life and home was in the public space? Lesson Number two. So, have I answered your question now? This was never the plan. How do I rewrite my wrongs? How do I get Tony? to go for a paternity DNA test to prove that Jamal is his biological son. How? Treat love right Show love attention Give love a listen, yeah, always. Treat love right, show love attention. Give love a listen, yeah, always. Jamal? Jamal? I've been trying to reach Mr. Tony on phone, but he's not picking up. I, I tried informing him that his wife has been hospitalized and that his son needs a blood transfusion, but he didn't give me listening ears. Why, if I may ask? Because he's not in good terms with his wife at the moment. Is that enough reason to jeopardize the life of his son when he knows that he has the same blood group that can match with his son? Listen, doctor, just... Just, uh, everything is just happening at the same time. Uh, his wife being hospitalized, uh, sick, and the son needing a blood transfusion. See, just keep calling Mr. Tony, and then while we look for an alternative for the blood donor, please. He's not taking it. Hello, sir. I've been trying to reach your phone, but it wasn't connecting. Yes, there is an emergency here. Your son and wife have been hospitalized, and your son needs blood transfusion. And you know you both have the same blood type, and you are the quickest reach now, since you both have the same O negative. You know I have so much respect for you as my doctor. There's no need for you to call at this point. I don't want to have anything to do with that woman or her son anymore. So if you're going to call me and talk about them, we're gonna have problems. Thank you. 
हेलो हेलो This is quite hard for me to believe, Mr. Tony. But then, this is the 21st century. We have a quite number of cases like this. Paternity DNA test settles it all. At the same time, if you ask me, I may say, there is no level of issue with your wife that will watch you neglecting the head of your son. Of course, he is your son. There is a boy who has called you father for more than seven years. The same way you have called him son. If you truly loved him, this is the time he needs you most, Mr. Tony. He has a blood type, O negative, which is very rare for recipients. Why extending our search elsewhere when we know that you are the perfect donor, Mr. Tony? That boy needs you now. I must say a very big thank you, Mr. Tony, for your timely intervention. At least, your son is safe. And one more thing, Mr. Tony. I don't know how you came about the news of that boy not being your son. The paternity DNA test I conducted confirmed the boy your son. So you are the biological father of that boy. my man calling and what am I we had an agreement right babe we are having our moments without any distractions come on you are my woman and you're carrying my baby why don't you stick to the agreement Michael we don't need to do this do we I'm sorry. Come on, baby. I'm sorry. Come on, smile for me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry.
I am here to say a very big thank you for saving our son's life. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. I am aware that the paternity DNA test confirms that he is your biological son. It couldn't have been any other. You can go further to ascertain your doubts. I miss you so much, my husband. Our son misses you. We miss you. Please. Come back to us. If not for anything. At least for the sake of our son. He falls sick every now and then because he misses his father. And he wants to be with him. Every night, I am restless. Thinking of how my husband is doing. If he is fine. If he is well taken care of. If he is feeding well. And if there is anyone to say those sweet words to your ears. It's a beautiful thing when it's cherished. It strives more with every peace of mind. When two come together as one, loving and trusting each other, right? Oh, yeah. Cherish what you have. Love what you have, treat what you have right Cause you never know who's up next Cherish what you have, love what you have, treat what you have right Cause you never know who's up next Ooh. Treat love right, show love attention Give love a listen, yeah, always. Treat love right, show love attention. Give love a listen, yeah, always. Home is a paradise when it's solidly built. It grows more. Where there is love and care When to come together Loving each other right Holding each other right Listening to each other Oh, yeah Cherish what you have Love what you have Treat what you have right Cause you might never know What's up next Cherish what you have, love what you have, treat what you have right. Cause you never know who's up there. Oh, treat 
lifting of her eyes Show levitation Keep level listening, yeah Always Treat the love right Show levitation Keep level listening, yeah Always Treat the love right Show levitation Keep level listening, yeah Always treat the love right. Show love attention. Give love a listening ear. Always. And where is she going? Home, of course. You and I know there is no other home outside this. My please don't say it. I promised my husband to be there. I'll be back in just a few days. Why are you talking about her? Another man, when I'm here. Mike, we had an arrangement. That you will spend one month in my arms Don't before I... going back to him. Then where do I tell him that I went to? I don't know. Figure it out. You've been doing it. Come on, girl. You don't even love this man. Come on.
What's going on here? What are these two doing on my bed? What's this? What is this? Are you ready to talk to me now? Babe, ever since I got back, you've been acting like your body is here with me while your soul is somewhere else. Do you care to explain to me what happened earlier? Well, a lot happened whilst you were away. What are you talking about? I'm a one-woman man. A one-woman man? What has that got to do with us? Jamal was sick and needed blood transfusion. The doctor called me knowing fully well that I am a perfect match to help with the transfusion. I refused. But after so much persuasion, I decided to go ahead with it. The doctor now came up with the idea to run a paternity DNA test to ascertain my doubts. The results came out and Jamal is actually my son. Babe, don't believe them. This must be a plan between your ex-wife and the doctor. Okay? Babe, our wedding is by the corner and they're trying everything possible to ruin it. To ruin our happiness. Can't you see that? I ran the DNA test in two different hospitals and the results were all the same. Jamal is my son. I am his father. What? What is it? See, Mikey, Mikey, I'm not in the mood for this. I don't care what you think or say anymore. I don't care. How much have I given you in the past few days? I am not giving you any dime again. I am not. Yes, I, you can go ahead and tell the whole world that the baby in my womb is yours. I do not care. But I'm not giving you any more money. Yes. Go ahead. You can go ahead and tell the whole world that we clone the woman's voice to make it look like she's cheating and the boy is not his. See, don't let me tell you God punish you. Why are you this greedy? Why are you this greedy, Michael? I said you in kind and I said you in cash. Yet, you still want to stand in the way of my happiness. Don't let me say God punish because God will really punish you. Jesus. I'm sorry, my husband. I didn't know what came over me. I was just blinded by the love I have for you. I was so obsessed with you. I didn't mean to hurt you by my actions, please. Please forgive me. Please. Leave. And never come back. 
I don't want to see your face anywhere near my property. Maybe we can... We can do what? I said leave. Are you deaf? Don't make me repeat myself. Get out. Love is a beautiful thing when it's cherished. It strives more with every peace of mind. When two come together as one, loving and trusting each other, right? Oh, yeah. Cherish what you have. Love what you have, treat what you have right. Cause you never know who's up next. Cherish what you have, love what you have, treat what you have right. Cause you never know who's up next. Oh, treat love right, show love attention. Give love a listen, yeah, always. Treat love right, show love attention. Give love a listen, yeah, always. Home is a paradise when it's solidly built. It grows more. Where there is love and care When to come together Loving each other right Holding each other right Listening to each other Oh, yeah Cherish what you have Love what you have Treat what you have right Cause you might never know What's up next Cherish what you have, love what you have, treat what you have right. Cause you never know where something is. Oh, treat love right, show love attention, give love a listen, yeah, always. Treat love right. Show love attention, give love a listening ear, always. Treat love right, show love attention, give love a listening ear, always. Treat love right, show love attention. Ah! I so know. I am taking your meat. No, it's not I will a deal. Take... Huh? You really shake hand on that, so it's not a deal. It is? What are you talking about? It's not a you deal. You're sneaky, right? No, you no. think you're sneaky, right? No, you think you're sneaky. Uh, it's not okay, a deal. Okay, I'll give you. I'll, huh? give you, I'll give you my meat. You're gonna okay, give me yeah. a lot. Meat and what? Mm -hmm. And your ice cream. And... No, no, Dad. Sweet things are nice. not good for you. Nice. <laughs> Are you gonna be nice? <laughs> yes. yeah, Are you gonna be nice? No, Are you gonna be nice? I'll be nice. Uh, no, no, you gonna no. be nice? I'll be nice. Uh, yes. So meet. Yeah. Are you thinking about it? Are you really thinking about it? Huh? 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 Okay. I can see you guys are having fun. Yes, mom. Yeah, he lost a bet. So he's owing me his dinner meat. Really? And his dessert. My his hand was like. <laughs> so it's 
<laughs> not a it? deal. Are you, are you <laughs> denying it? You're denying it. You're denying it. What are you saying? <laughs> so daddy cheated, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Of course I trust my son. You cheated. Mm. Yes, you cheated. You're lying on me. <laughs> 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 Enjoying to mommy. Yes, that's my boy. Stay there. So we're going to get daddy's meat, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you see the two of You've been working so much, I just want to help, okay? I'll do it. And I insist. Let me help. I'm sorry. Hey, hey. We have been through this already. Can we go past this? Sure. Sometimes, the things we neglect, the things we let slide through the cracks, are the things that matters most in marriage. Life is a teacher. Indeed. The greatest of them all. I make this wish. That if I were to be a woman in my next world, I make this wish this day that I may remain your wife. Oh, baby. That is so sweet. Thank you, my husband. Thank you for the lesson learned knowing you as my husband. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving me. Thank you. Hey baby, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> but I love you so much. And I want to do this forever with you. Can we just live, laugh, and learn? Oh, and now, uh, conquer. Yes, conquer. I love you. And I love you more.
Jamal, why are you smiling? Love is a beautiful Come here. <laughs> Come here. Why are you smiling? You're supposed to close your eyes. I'm oh. smiling. Leave him alone. Come here. What video were you watching? He was watching my video. Let me see. Come on, let me see the video. Come, let me see the video. <laughs> Jamal, come on. <laughs> come, let me see. Let me see that video. No. Come here. Are you serious? <laughs> Cherish what you have, love what you have. <laughs> he just blows his eyes. Treat what you have, right? Oh, cause you never know. Something is. Ooh, treat love right. Treat love right. Show love attention. Ooh, give love a listen. Yeah, always. Give love a listen, yeah. Ooh, away. 